faith have I slain today instead of him. A horse! A horse! My kingdom for a horse! Hmm. Hey, folks. Well... Just another uh, interesting thing that I happened to spot today, and it wasn't me that spotted this correlation, I just happened to be reading the I newspaper, and someone had written a very interesting little couple of paragraphs in there, and it said how bizarre that Richard III, who was dug up, obviously, as we know from the other video, everybody knows that Richard III has been dug up, and it's been confirmed that he is, um, in fact, Richard III that has been dug up. Well, his famous quote that's gone down from a Richard the, um, yeah, from the play, I don't know, Richard III, anyway, it was a Shakespeare play, um, was that line, a horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse, because he was apparently unhorsed in the battle. Anyway, point is, this chap said, how interesting that he's been dug up, and what he was remembered for was that statement, and yet here in the UK, over a, about the last week or so, there's been a right hoo-ha about the fact that horse meat has been found in loads and loads and loads of burgers. It started about a couple of weeks ago in Tesco's. Now they've found that all sorts of food is actually contaminated with this horse meat. It's come from Poland. It's come from goodness knows where else. You know, so yet again, it, it's a, another thing to do with food. I mean, just scrolling down here, you can see all of these stories. Um, you know, th there's loads of them anyway. I'll just scroll down for you. Um, there's loads of it. Fancy some spaghetti, bolognese, there's been jokes, online jokers made fun of Finder's horse scandal. That's from um, the 8th of February. Just recently, schools and restaurants supply of a British company, vast quantities of horse meat from Poland. So, you know, that's another interesting correlation, isn't it, between what's been uncovered in all this meat. Look at all these stories and we're still only back down to, well, that's the 31st of the 1st, that's the end of January. So all this horse meat found, I mean, the other thing for myself is, I mean, I consider myself to be relatively well informed about what's going on when it comes to food and stuff. But something I discovered only, well, probably about three or four weeks ago now was um, monosodium glutamate. That is really, really bad for you. And that is in all sorts of things. And, and this story with the burgers and the sausages, I mean, I don't eat meat, burgers and sausages anyway. Haven't done them for many years. But I used to enjoy... Linda McCartney's vegetarian sausages, we always have vegetarian sausages, don't have those anymore because it's full of monosodium glutamate, called all sorts of other names like hydrolyzed vegetable protein. Marmite, another one of my favourites, no, that apparently is monosodium glutamate. It's been banned apparently in Denmark on the grounds of health reasons, so that was my big revelation that I've had within a month of even more stuff you can't eat. So actually, Really now, um, you know, you can't eat a lot. Monosodium glutamate is an excitotoxin, apparently, which is the same as um, aspartame. Flashes in the brain, and then it, it causes that brain cell to die. Watch this fascinating video about it. Anyway, I think I added it to favourite. So I'll put this, um, the monosodium glutamate thing underneath the video. Um, you can see, and, the, and obviously these bits and pieces about the online things about um, the horse meat and that. So just, just to finish up here so more interesting things that are coming to light about food and Richard III not that you can really compare that link but it's interesting because you know that phrase when people say I've been fed a load of lies and I, and I think this is true I mean honestly now well I try to avoid wheat flour because the wheat's modified so I cook spelt loaves here I've got a very quick and easy little recipe for spelt flour so if anybody wants that just shout because it's very easy to do actually and it doesn't take very long you don't even have to knead it much spelt loaves biscuits no try and avoid them we have flapjacks here made from oats and now i don't even use gravy or any kind of vegetable stock cube which is quite awkward actually because it's all full of msg and that is really bad for you so it's down to making gravy from onions and corn flour um you know, and avoiding a whole load of food. But I think, to be honest with you folks, that's the only way that you can hope to um, avoid all this crap that's in all sorts of things. And it's not, I mean, obviously, you know, if you eat a value burger, that you're going to be eating the dregs of food, aren't you? Or, or McDonald's food, particularly bits of horrible sausage meat and burger stuff. But what's quite irritating is even if you, I mean, I used to buy this Swiss bouillon stuff, which was basically what I thought was posh vegetable um stock cubey typey stuff 
all the posh chefs use it, this Swiss bouillon stuff, and it's expensive. But when I looked on the actual um, ingredients, it's just mostly whatever it is, MSG. And the thing is, I put on loads of weight at Christmas, about six pounds, I was gutted. But actually, I thought afterwards, you know what, it's because I've been eating stuff I don't normally buy, like biscuits with cheese. I looked on that, that's got it in. So anyway, that's just one more food correlation. And I just thought it was interesting that he was well known for this phrase, a horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse. And we've had all this eruption of horse meat and everything. So there you go, folks. Thanks, Anna. Bye.